In this video, we'll see some more features related to date functions in VBA. Suppose if I want to add some number of years, months or days, or suppose if I want to add hours, seconds or minutes to particular date and time, how do I do that? With the help of macros, we have a function name as date add. Date add is a function which will help me to do all this task. Let us see that. Now I'm in the same file Excel VBA miscellaneous. I have already written a code at the backend. I'll just go to this developer tab, click on this visual basic and I have created a module A underscore dates. In that I have written this sub procedure that is sub procedure date 3 date add. Remember in the previous video I have written for the date 2 the second example and date 1. In this video I'll show you for the date 3 and the function name is date add. So if you want to add some years, months or dates, hours, minutes or seconds, just single function you have to remember that is date add. Now for that I need some date. So what I've done is I have uh, assigned some date to a variable which I have not declared. So the variable name is my date and that's a date given 11, 20, 2016. That's a November 20, 2016. And I want to display that date message box my date. So it will display the particular date itself. But now the main thing starts from here. If I want to add number of years to this date, how do I do that? So please see here. I have done here as message box date add message box date add in if you see in the brackets I have written as double Y double Y number of years to my date, right? So if you see here date add double Y double Y, why I have written as double Y double Y. If you want to add number of years, you have to use as double Y double Y itself, right? If you want to add some months, you have to use M. If you want to add some days, you have to put as D. So if you observe here, same thing is there date add function. I want to display definitely. And these are the different things I want to do days, months and years. How many months, how many days, one day, one year and one month, not more than that. And I want to add to this particular my date itself and it will be displayed, right? So I'll, I'll just close this. So I'll have maximum space to see that. Yeah. All right. So, so message box, date add, y, 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 and number of months, number of years. If you want, you can keep on changing and my date. So this will be done for days, months, and years. Let us see how we do for the hours, minutes, and second. Same function, same formula, nothing difference in this. Message box, date add, if you see the same thing. Here I have changed hours, minutes, and seconds. Hours, it stands for H. Minutes, actually M should be used. But I have already used M in the months part. So what I have to do is for minutes, I have to use the function, the number as N, the text as N. And for the seconds, I have to use the S part. And now if you see, I have got it here as date add number of hours. How many hours I want to add? Only one hour to this particular date, 31st December 2020 and 12.0.0.0.0. So 12.0.0.0.0. To this particular, I want to add one hour. Similarly, I have just copy paste, nothing else. If you see, all the lines are just copy paste. If you want to add minutes, replace H with N. If you want to add seconds, you replace H with, you know, S itself and you can add it. So let us see if I execute step by step, what is the answer I'll get it. I'll keep my cursor here. If you want to execute step by step, you have to use step into. I'll click on this step into, step into, step into. Now if I keep my cursor on this place as my date, and if you observe what is the date given as 11, 20, 2016, that's the date given. Again, I'll click on this step into. Now the first date which is displayed 11, 20, 2016. Because my date 11, 20, 2016, I have asked him to display it. Let's see the next part. 11, 20, 2016, if you add how many years, one year to that, it will display 11, 20, 2017. See, why, why, why? One year to this particular date itself. So if I click on step into, see 11, 20, 2017, I'll click on OK. Next part comes, if I want to add one month to particular date, so one month to this particular date will become 12, 20, 2016. If I click on this step into and if you observe it's saying as 12, 20, 2016. So one year, month is added. If I want to add one day again, so it will become as 11, 21, 2016. Step into, if you see 11, 21, 2016 and the same thing is done. So it's working fine for all the dates, months and years. Let us observe whether it works fine for the, you know, number of hours, minutes and seconds. 
So I'll click on this step into. So 12 0 0 0 0. If I add one hour, so it should become as 1 0 0 0 0. So if I click on this place, so it's a 1 0 0 0 0 p.m. And the date is same 12 the 31st December 2020. I'll click on OK. Second one, if I want to add one minute to this particular time, 120100. The output should come as 120100. So if you see 120100 pm, that is absolutely working fine. And the last one, if I want to add one seconds, I'll just click on this step into. And if you see 120001 pm and it is added one second over here, I'll click on OK. Right. And finally, I'll click on step into so the entire code would be executed. I hope you're able to understand the different ways by which you can add months, years and days, also hours, minutes and seconds with the help of this date function. That's all for this video.